Okay, in this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to export once you've finished editing a video. So, what you need to do is just make sure you're clicking in the timeline here somewhere so we know that we're exporting the actual timeline or this project. Then you're going to come on the very far right side, clear over here, and let me zoom into it. Okay, this button right here, which is called the share button and it will show share destinations. There are other ways to do this as well. We can come up here to file and then share and you'll notice the one we're going to use is master file and there happens to be a shortcut key. Okay, so share master file um, that's uh, command E is the shortcut key but I'm going to show you over here uh, as well. So we click on that and then we go to, we go to master file or again command E. That will bring up a new box Okay, I usually preview my video, make sure this is the whole thing, because sometimes I accidentally only have a clip. And so you've got to make sure you preview the whole video. Then you have to click on settings. Let me even zoom into this a little bit. Settings. Your video codec will default to source Apple ProRes 422, which is fine, but it's a really big file. And for most of what we do, we don't need a file that big. So we're going to come down to H.264. So H.264 just compresses it more. And again, for most of what we do, we're fine. The next thing that I usually do is I turn this off, um, or I say, when done, do nothing. Uh, but sometimes it's helpful to know when it's done, and it, you can it defaults to QuickTime Player will open. So what happens is it will export the video, and then QuickTime will open up your video so that you can play it. I turn it off because I don't need that, but um, you can leave it on if you would like. Then we hit the Next button. This will bring us to this window, or yours might look something like this. Okay. What I would do is hit this little button right here so we can choose exactly where we want to go. So I'm going to click on movies. I usually like to have my um, all of my files in one folder. So inside of movies, I will usually create a new folder. Okay, and then I will type in exported. You can do this anywhere you want, but this is just usually what I do. So again, exported. I already have a folder named that and so I'm going to hit cancel and I'm just going to click on my exported folder <clears throat> and then this is where I would put it so I'm going to go ahead and put my video there I'm going to hit save when I'm ready okay and I could change the name of it too and notice it looks like it doesn't do anything I'm like okay well what's what's going on well in this very center bar here this is actually counting up now this is exporting in the background. So I could keep doing stuff and it's going to export in the background. I can also click on this and it will bring up this box. If I click on sharing, it's saying, okay, it's transcoding the video. So it's at 6%, 7%, uh, etc. So once that reaches 100%, then it is done. You'll see this will be all green. Then you know it's done and then you can go get your video and you know put it wherever you're going to put it. But that is the process of exporting from Final Cut Pro for the purposes of what we're doing here. We don't need it to be Apple ProRes, so we just choose H.264 because it's smaller and compressed.